Notion has silently upgraded the formula editor with a powerful AI integration. We've all seen that Notion has been adding more and more AI features over the last couple of months. But this one is probably the one I'm most excited about so far. Notion AI can now directly help you to understand, troubleshoot and even write formulas based on natural language prompt input. And in today's video, we're taking a closer look at that. All right, welcome to my Notion workspace, where now we are going to take this new Notion Formula AI for a little test drive. And for this, I'm going to jump into one of the databases of this template here, which is a habit tracker template of mine. And I'm going to open up the three counter database. And before we get into the details of some examples, I want to show you where to find this new feature, actually. So whenever we open any formula editor may it be in databases in database automations or in button actions you will find when you have access to notion ai that there's this new input field at the top which already prompts you to write fix or explain a formula and i really love that it's directly integrated into the formula editor and that you don't have to open up the little widget with the face that's looking at you from the corner of your workspace or jump between chat gpt and another tool i can just directly use the input field right here where I'm working on the formula right now. All right, for our first example, I want to check how well this little helper can actually explain a formula that I have created. So this little formula that I've made in my habit tracker pulls all the records from the main habit tracker database and then runs different function on it to basically just come up with one number, which is the current streak of this habit. So it marks done habits with a one, missed as a zero pending ones it just deletes the string and then based on this it just returns the longest and most recent streak so basically our current streak so now let's find out what the little formula i here says when i ask it what does this formula do it is thinking let's see how long that takes the formula calculates the current streak of completed habit one tasks. Sort of correct, it's not really related to task, but close enough. So this is not bad if I wanted to understand what this is about. And another way of explaining, which I find even more powerful than just having a sentence, let's see if I can ask this formula AI to add comments directly to our formula so that I can see and understand what each step actually does. So let's write, please add comments to the formula to explain every step one by one. Let's see what it's doing now. Thinking again. All right, so it's actually recreating the formula, but I don't see it making any changes. And as you can see now, it has added a comment to every single line. So first we get all the records from the habit tracker database. That's correct. We filter to only include the ones from habit one, which is also correct. Then we sort it by date. We extract the status and then we replace the task. It keeps referring to it as task, which is technically not correct. It's habits, but not too bad. It converts basically all dance to ones, all missed habits to zeros. It removes the pending task as an empty string. That's correct. It removes commas so that we only are left with a continuous string. Exactly what I was planning to do. And then it removes everything up to and including the last zero. So basically a broken streak. That's exactly what I did with this. Very well explained actually. And then whatever we have left, count the remaining one. Okay, I have to say this is really helpful and I really like this version of the explanation way over the previous one where I just received one simple sentence, which was kind of vague, it was correct, but it didn't really help me fully understand the formula step by step. With this, I have no problem going through each and every step one by one and seeing, ah, this is doing this, this is doing this, which should be great for learning to actually understand how a formula works. And I can see myself using this a lot either when I'm having access to a customer's or client's workspace or receiving a template from someone else where I don't fully understand what a formula is doing, but I want to slightly adjust it. 
I can just quickly type this in. It's going to keep the formula the same, but adding comments to it. And this will also be very helpful, for example, when I'm shipping a formula as part of a database to a customer or a client, then I can use this to easily add explanations to the formula for the customer or client to easily understand what is happening instead of basically just shipping a black box, which they don't understand. So I really like this feature. Thumbs up from me. The second use case where this new Notion formula is supposed to be very helpful with is fixing and troubleshooting actual errors in formulas. So let's have a little bit of fun by messing with AI here. I'm going to throw in a typo into this replace all function and I'm going to remove a parenthesis in the last function. And then I'm going to ask it to please fix the errors in below formula. Enter. And let's see where the different kinds of reasoning are leading us to. Is it going to create the same thing? Yes, it looks like it has replaced the typo and the parenthesis with the correct versions without changing too much of the formula. Actually, it's exactly the same formula. So this simple fix, easy. Now let's make it a little bit more difficult. I'm deleting all the parentheses here, another one here. I'm going to throw some commas in the mix and again I'm going to introduce a typo and I'm going to remove this little parenthesis up here and I'm going to ask the same thing again please fix it for me let's see if it can still tell what is what is it what we're looking for I see a bunch of comments being added Okay, it returns a zero now, which means this is already not the result anymore that we were looking for because it should be a one from, from the beginning, as we saw. Um, we have comments for every step, get status. So while the statuses are helpful, it is clear to me that something is wrong because if I discard these changes, look at the result here, it will go back to a one. So by simply asking to fix these errors below, the AI was not able to come back to the exact same result. It, it must have misunderstood what this formula does. Otherwise, it would have understood that zero cannot be the correct answer. So that's interesting. It can help with syntax errors. It's also interesting. I saw what it has been doing before. It sometimes, for more complex formulas, it changes entire parts of logic to a different kind, which can be a little bit troublesome if you have been working on a complex formula yourself and now you ask for AI to please fix a little error here or there which you cannot find easily and while it might be able to fix the error it might also replace the logic of another part of the formula with its own logic which might still give you the same result but it might make the overall formula less easy to understand when parts of it suddenly change so this is something to keep in mind and it's also always a good idea of course to keep like a backup in a notepad on the side when you're working with notion ai for formulas it's a very good approach and i think specifically for beginners or for finding like very small errors that you otherwise maybe cannot find manually this could be a very very helpful solution and i'm definitely going to use this moving forward very very nice implementation of course i also hope that it will get better and better over time the most exciting use case for this new feature is of course to have an entire formula written by ai without having to think about anything ourselves so for this i created this new formula property and now we're going to have some fun with just giving more and more advanced examples of prompts to the ai and see what it does with this so for the first one let's keep it very simple please write a formula that returns the count of all pages in the related habits database which should return nine because there's nine entries and the formula is very very short habit tracker dot length function returns nine perfect this is what we would have been looking for very simple now let's make it a little bit more advanced and let's ask to recreate the formula to get this street counter for habit number one, which we've been working with before. So I'm going to ask, can you please write a formula that returns all 
habit number one entries from the related database that have been marked as done which is the current streak for that habit it should be returned as a single number all right let's fire that let's see where the reasoning leads ai to go from here okay based on this prompt it returned a rather simple formula and you can see all it does here it finds the habit one entries in the database and then finds the one that have their status set to done and then the length of these which is correct but this doesn't account for what if there's many hundreds of different entries and in the middle there's a few that are done then there's another bunch that has not been done and some of them are empty because they're still pending so this is not really a streak counter i would have to refine this prompt a little bit more to to get to that point let's see what I can change here, please write a formula that turns out from the data that have been marked as done, which is the current streak of that habit. Um, the formula also needs to account for habits that have been marked as missed, or let's just write missed, which means they have broken the streak and only only have it entries after that can be used for the new current streak counter it should be returned let's keep that as a single number Let's see how the formula will develop from here. Okay, definitely more complex. Already impressive to see. Okay, you can see we have actually encountered errors, but it is checking for errors itself and then attempting to fix them as we are working on them. So this is interesting. So by date, this is already good. I would have to check whether or not each step of this logic works. For now, what I know is that this is not correct because the, the result should be a 1. So it probably hasn't fully understood the prompt that I have or my prompt has not been clear enough. Um, this can, of course, also be the case. Um, this would require, of course, more troubleshooting and uh, going through the formula to find the error, but it's already good to see the comments here. As I said this before, I really, really like these comments, which can help to quickly understand the code that we are working with here. So I think this is a very promising start. Obviously, it is very hard to find the sweet spot, like how much information do I need to put in for the AI to really understand the formula that I need. Um, but it is interesting. And what was interesting to see in this example is when the formula encounters an error, the AI will automatically then attempt to repair the error that it created. So it can iterate through it multiple times um, to hopefully then find a result that works. In this case, I would have to troubleshoot this myself, um, which also shows this is not a perfect solution. It can't do everything. Um, but yeah, it's it's a promising start. I'm, I'm curious to see where this is going. Now I want to show you one more example of using the AI to create a formula from scratch. And this time we are going to work in a database automation formula. In this example, which I've prepared for a video that is coming out soon, I have created a database automation with a formula that basically changes the status of a project based on the status updates being made to the underlying related tasks. So I'm just going to show you quickly when I change one task down here to be done, then it will automatically update the status of this project to in progress. And when I change it back to not started, it will also change the status of the project back to not started. There we go. 
and I want to recreate this automation or the formula within this automation with AI. So I am going to duplicate this automation and I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to edit this one down here. I'm going to call it the AI version. I'm going to leave the variable which I need and I'm pretty sure AI will also need it. I'm only going to change the formula so let me remove this part which you're going to see in the video that's coming out soon but now let's define what I wanted to do please write a formula that changes or let's say that updates the status of the related project to done when all Re when all tasks related to this project have been marked as done. Update the status to not started when all tasks related to this project have been marked as not started if both of these conditions do not apply update the status to in progress okay let me fix this typo here just to make sure okay enter and let's see what it comes up with i'm very curious all right so we have our formula it looks a little bit more bulky than the version that i created it has a few more lines for sure it gets the task then if check if there are any tasks yes then if checks if all the tasks are marked is done it also checks with a specific variable applied if checks whether or not all of them are not started and if all of them are done it looks good at first look i think this this could be a viable solution let's save this let's click on done so the ai automation is active and now let's take a closer look what happens here i'm gonna change the status of this task to in progress which should change the status up here to in progress. That works already. Great. Now I'm going to change the status of one task to done and it should remain in progress. But when I change all of them to done, it should update the status to done as well. Cool. Does it. Now I'm going to change one of the tasks back to not started. It should go back to in progress. Let's see, correct. And when I move all of them back to not started, it should also change the project states back to not started. And this also works. So this is pretty impressive stuff. I have to say, it takes more steps than when I just come up with it myself. So it's not like the AI will always come up with the most efficient solution, but obviously there are many different ways of using code, of using formulas to come to the same goal. So yeah, I think if you are working on things with formulas, this is really a big upgrade. And for some people, maybe even worth considering now the business plan or the enterprise plan to have access to Notion AI. I really like this new AI feature and the fact that it's directly integrated into the formula editor. And personally think that this is one of the most impressive AI integrations of Notion to date. Formulas have always been one of the most advanced but also most difficult features for new Notion users to learn. And having the help from a dedicated AI expert for that specific topic will definitely make them more accessible. Not having to jump back and forth between ChatGPT or another AI tool 
tool and to copy and paste formula code between different tools is definitely a game changer. And I'm really looking forward to work with it and to see how it's developing over time. Since this is a Notion AI feature, it is only available to users on a business or enterprise plan, which is something to keep in mind. If you enjoyed this little feature review, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more Notion related content. And leave a comment below this video to let me know what you're thinking about this new feature and how you are planning to use it. Also, make sure to sign up to my free newsletter to stay in the loop about new videos and other content and to get access to exclusive launch discounts for all of my upcoming templates.